What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Seabear, and now you can see my lineups for the weekend. Like and subscribe as always, I would really appreciate that, and let's get into the video. First, I'll show the midweek results, because there was some midweek football, and we managed to get threshold, and still a uh, tier 5 index super cap 220, uh, the monthly, which is now done. Um, so yeah, in the cap 220, we hit 350 points, which, which is a lot. Uh, Henderson kept clean sheet till the 80th minute, but I think it doesn't really matter anymore because we still have the tier 5. Uh, Starfield and Parejo did insane. Same with Schreels, he got an upgrade, triple triple. Really nice seeing him performing again last week. Uh, Parejo got a goal, almost 100 score. Starfield got subbed off in the halftime because he was injured, but uh, yeah, he got a last man tackle, which is really nice. And Radovanovic disappointed a bit. Uh, and then I kept the 40. Wallace and kept a clean sheet. Uh, Paul and Watch who scored, he was my captain. Uh, life is disappointed, but yeah, his team let him down as well. Early red card for his team. And uh, Simic was 80% on play sharper. I bought him, especially for this game week. Didn't play, and then it all depended on Kums to play against uh, Leuven. He got an assist and all around, and then he needed some more all around, and then he gave another assist. So that's really, really nice to see him. And uh, another threshold, I think the third in a row now, we're getting some momentum again, but the break is almost coming, so that will break the momentum, of course. So, um, yeah, 60 cents here probably, if not uh, 40 cents, but yeah, a reward is a reward and a threshold, which is always nice. Uh, then let me go to Sorare to show the lineups of the weekend. I bought someone else and I sold someone, I'll let that know when I make the lineups. To Pro, of course. Let me start with Challenger Europe. Of course, I only have Belgian players playing. Um, Osbier is still, I don't know what it is. Uh, it says an injury, but they have a lot of contract issues at Adana. So it could also be that. Um, in goal, I will go for my only playing goalkeeper. And that's pulled out against Antwerp. Really difficult. Um, yeah, it will be difficult. And the defense, Munoz, two games. One against uh, Anderlecht and one against Antwerp. Uh, he might not play one because he's on a suspension. If he gets one more yellow card, he will suspend it. So if he gets a yellow card against Anderlecht, he will be suspended against Antwerp. Two difficult games, but he's just a monster. Uh, but Keita, yeah, his scores last weeks are pretty decent. Uh, yeah, and not really challenger material, but I don't really have any other options. As you see, Rosowski was the only other option, and his scores are also not that good. In the attack, Wales and Keita with a nice 8 percentage. And as extra player, I went not for McKenzie, but for Kayembe, because McKenzie will only play against Antwerp. And uh, Kayembe will probably also play only one game, depending on how, how the situation with Artiaga is. Artiaga was sick during the midweek. Uh, he has also a huge trans transfer link to uh, back to his home country, Mexico. So we'll see how that will play out, but uh, Kayembe will surely play at least one game. Koita will be my captain at home against Charleroi. Moving on to cap to 40, and as you saw, I don't have a playing goalkeeper anymore, so we'll have to do it with a four man, just like in the midweek. So we can do it. Uh, let's select just a TMP goalkeeper. Um, let's select uh, this guy from Incheon. In the defense, I went for the Bocat uh, at home against Charleroi with a nice bonus. Bonus really important if you play with a four man in cap to 40. Then Rosowski. Oh, the no game has to go out. Uh, Rosowski, but also a nice bonus. Two games, probably play one uh, certain and the other one has to depend on what the coach will decide. Also a really nice bonus. On watch when attack in a quite easy home game I would say. And as extra player I went for McKenzie, who as I said will only play probably one game. But with 12.5% at home against Antwerp, he'll probably still score decent if can don't get destroyed. Uh, and on watch will be my captain. Then the last lineup is kept to 20 and uh, yeah, the rewards are back as you see a little, uh, you see a, a lot of entries, but because there's not really that many football um, anymore left, only the Belgian League and some uh, top 5 leagues like the Premier League and the Serie A. In goal I went for Bernd Leno at home against uh, Burnley, should be an easy clean sheet. Let's remove the comments then. In defense, Jules van Klimput, uh, he's back from injury once again, uh, he's really injury prone, but he Probably will start, it's a risico, but yeah, I don't really have other options, so I want to take the risk. Um, in cap to 20. In the midfield, yeah, who else than Patrick Kosowski, don't really have any other options. Uh, in the attack, and Benza is also back from injury, and he is also, yeah, not sure to play, so the Charleroi boys are questionable, but I don't really have another option, that's clearly it, and uh, not a lot of points left, and I'll go with Barnes then. Um, 7 percentage, uh, and he will probably play against Charleroi. 
uh, but he's also questionable. So really questionable lineup, but it is what it is. Otherwise, yeah, I wouldn't really, really have a lineup in here. Benza is gonna be my captain. Um, yeah, a lot of people playing against each other think uh, Westlo play against uh, Antwerp, uh, Keita plays against Bolat. Uh, the Kang boys play against Keita. Uh, yeah, just a lot. The SVV boys play against the Shalawa boys. So it's really not an ideal week. Uh, wait, what am I scrolling to? Uh, of course, the box uh, special. Let's just enter a lineup. Uh, yeah, why not? If I have people playing, let's see. Marcelo will play. Class will start, maybe, or uh, get subbed in shortly. And then Zakiri. Uh, I'll play with this. Wait. Used in another lineup, his 2023 card. 2023 card, but he's in an academy, but I'll remove it then. And then uh, this extra player could use Rosowski once again. And I'll probably do that actually, because I don't have another option. So Rosowski in three lineups, but yeah, this lineup is probably just a throwaway. Uh, Marcelo will be my captain because he's only one sure to play. So these are the lineups. Um, yeah, don't look at the academy, just challenger. Get to 40 and maybe get to 20, but I really hope to get the threshold and maybe get a reward and challenger. And then it's winter break, uh, time to reshape the gallery for the next uh, yeah months in January and the other months, and also Asia starting in February, late February, and that's, that will also play a big role in my gallery and how I will play Sora in 2024. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope your game weeks will do well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.